welcome at Yoga with Suna. This is a short sequence today, a dynamic yoga warm-up that's simple and it's going to stretch and strengthen your whole body. We're going to tackle all the major muscle groups such as the core, the hips, the hamstrings, your shoulders and your upper back. The sequence is great to do before any other physical activity, but it's also a great sequence to do by itself if you're short on time and you want to wake up your whole body. So let's get started in a wide-legged child's pose. Coming onto your mat, big toes are touching, knees as wide as your mat, and then go ahead and sink down with the forehead to your mat. Relaxing through the shoulders here, fingers are relaxed, dropping the elbows down if possible, and then Letting the hips sink heavy towards the heels. Keeping a little bit of awareness in the tops of your toes, grounding them down into your mat so that you're preventing dumping all the weight into your hip joints here. Taking a couple of breaths, just coming to our mat, setting our mind up for this practice for these few minutes together. On your next exhale, bend your elbows and then go ahead to connect your insides of the hands, the palms together, and then walk your elbows forward towards the front of your mat as you reach with the fingertips towards your hips. So kind of like making a shark fin with your hands, you're going to bring the hands behind your head and crawl the elbows forward, trying to stretch your triceps here, keeping heavy in your hips, and long in your upper back. Drawing nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. Dropping the shoulders. Two more breaths here. Exhale, release the hands back down. Walk them closer up towards your body and lift your torso up into all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread nice and wide. Knees underneath the hips, toes in line with your knees. We're going to do four rounds of cat-cow, changing the position of our wrist here. So really trying to warm up through the hands and the wrist as well. So first, natural, normal cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, draw the shoulders back, lift your gaze and your tailbone. And on your exhale, draw the chin to the chest, press everything on the floor down and away from you, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, back to neutral position. Go ahead, turn your hands outwards so that your fingers are facing the long side of your mat. And then inhale again, drop your chest, lift your gaze and your hips. And on your exhale, rounding your spine, chin to chest, draw the shoulders away from the ears, really pressing toes and hands down into the mat. Inhale to neutral. Turn your hands inward so the fingertips are now looking at each other. Um, the palms are down, the wrists are facing out to the long side of the mat. Again, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, your tailbone, chest pushes forward between the gate of your arms. Exhale, rounding your spine, really pressing your fingers, your knees, your toes into the mat. Draw your navel to your spine. Inhale again to neutral. Now this time go ahead, turn your fingertips towards your knees, the wrists facing the front of the mat. Spread your fingers wide, press into all the tops of your fingers as you inhale, drop the belly, draw the shoulders back, lift your gaze, your tailbone, and on your exhale, rounding your spine, draw the navel up to the spine, and inhale again, come back to neutral position. Now from here, go ahead, turn your hands back to facing forward and then bring the knees together, tuck your toes under, we're gonna come into a toe squat, walking the hands back towards your knees. So here you wanna make sure that all your toes are really on the mat. So maybe go ahead, take your fingers and um, take your pinky toes out so that they're really connected to the floor. Now, if this is way too much for your feet, you're always welcome to just untuck the toes and come and sit on your heels. But if you can bear the weight and if you can bear the stretch, this is a really fantastic way, especially before you go out on a run, to make sure that your soles of the feet are nice and warm and stretched. 
Now from here, relax your shoulders, take your gaze over to the right, over your right shoulder, drop your chin and make a half circle over your collarbone. On the inhale again, take your chin up, look over your leg. Exhaling, do that once more, bring your chin over the center, inhaling, looking up over your right shoulder, and then exhaling again, dropping your chin to center. Keep your head in center, inhale, lift your gaze. Now, as we inhale, bring the arms out, interlock your hands in front, push the palms away here, and then as we inhale, reach the arms all the way up, drop your shoulders down, release the grip of your fingers, cactus your arms, and draw your elbows back, keep the navel drawing to the spine here, push your chest, your heart forward. Exhale, reach the hands up, finding that interlock and interlace again, pointing up with the palms towards the ceiling, exhaling, rounding your spine, push your palms forward, keep the hands at shoulder height. Now push your right palm towards the left, finding a nice stretch through your right side. Inhale back to center, exhale, push your left palm over to the right knee, finding that nice stretch at the top of your left shoulder. Inhale to center and release your hands, come off your toes, back into neutral tabletop and just tap your tops of the feet a little bit down into the ground here. Great. Tucking your toes under, sending the hips up, come into your first downward dog here. Immediately raising up onto your toes, lift the heels as high as possible, push the chest back, fingers spread nice and wide. Inhale, reach your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling, make sure your hips stay square. Bend your left knee and then open your hip, point your left knee up to the ceiling as the toes are pointing down towards the floor. Try to keep your shoulders and your hips square here as much as possible. Good. Taking another nice deep breath in here. And on your exhale, square your hip off towards the middle again. Extend your left leg, three-legged dog here. And as you now release the left leg down to the floor, bend into your right knee and then touch your pinky toes together. So left and right pinky toes meet. Press your left heel down towards the floor and bend into your right knee as you push your chest more back and push your hips over to the right side here. Finding a nice deep stretch in the outside of your left leg. Taking two breaths here. Great. On your inhale, look forward. Walk your hands just one hand length forward and then come into your three-legged plank pose. Keep your left ankle on top of your right ankle. Now you can stay here. We're going to stay for five breaths. Or you can make this a little bit more challenging by pointing your left toes back, coming into a three-legged plank without support here. Wherever you are, three more breaths. One more breath. Press your hands firmly into the floor, round through the shoulder blades, draw your navel to the spine, push, uh, set your left foot down, bend your knees and push back into your downward facing dog, adjusting your position as needed. Fingers are still spread nice and wide, heels are high. As we inhale, reach the right leg up, hips stay leveled. Now bend your right knee, open your right hip, Point your toes down and your right knee up. Try to keep your shoulders pressing back. One breath here. Inhale. Extend your right leg out. Three-legged dog. Again, see if you can now, as you release the right leg down, begin to bend into your left leg, connecting the two pinky toes towards each other, connecting or pushing the right sole of the foot as far as possible down to the mat, bending into the left knee, pushing the chest back, pushing the hips over towards the left side here, finding a nice stretch in the outside of your right leg. Shoulders are relaxed, neck is loose, gaze is soft, and jaw is soft. One more breath here. Looking forward, walk your hands a little bit forward again, come into your plank pose. This time, 
resting your left ankle on top of your right. Oh, got this wrong. There we go. Resting the right ankle on top of the left here. Or again, sending your right ankle back into your one-legged plank pose. Stay for four more breaths. Pressing the hands firmly down into the mat, clawing through your fingertips. Shoulders pressing up. Round the shape here, neck is loose. Navel draws to the spine. Left leg is completely engaged, the toes of the right foot are pushing back. One more breath. And exhale, release your right leg down, bend your knees, downward facing dog. Good. Taking one deep breath in here. Exhale out. Lift up your heels, inhale. Reach your left leg all the way forward, pull your knee to your nose, and then lightly step your left leg up in between your hands. Release your right knee down. If you have your blocks ready, you might want them next to you. Otherwise, untuck the back toes, interlace your fingers on your left knee, relax your shoulders down, and draw the legs in towards each other, engaging all the muscles in your lower body here. Reaching your chest forward, dropping the weight of your elbows down. One more breath here. Inhale, reach both arms up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean over to your left side, finding a nice side body stretch. Keep the left hip drawing back, top of the toes in the back or pressing down. Left heel pulls towards the back. One more breath. Inhale, reaching both arms up, hands come down beside your foot. Take your right knee a little bit more back and then walk your hands underneath your shoulders, runner stretch here. Make sure that the ball of your left foot is pressing away at the same time as your toes are pulling towards your face. Make sure that you get a nice stretch in the back of your left leg. Kneecap is engaged, so the front of the leg is engaged and the back of the leg gets a nice stretch here. Push your chest forward, trying to find that nice long line from the head all the way into the tailbone. One more breath. Great. Go ahead, take both hands to the inside of your left leg. Walk or heel toe, heel toe. Your left leg out to the side of the mat. Heel stays on the mat, toes spill off. Lift your back knee off the mat and step your right foot up coming into Yogi Squat Malasana here. So here you want to connect the insides of your, I'm just gonna show you so you can see it better. So the insides of my knees want to connect to the outside of my elbow, all right? Now it's important here, if you don't have the flexibility to keep the legs, the feet straight, you wanna keep the toes in line with your knees to not risk any injury in your knees. So pressing the elbows out, Pressing the knees in, we make sure that we're engaging the hips here. That's it, taking a nice deep breath and you wanna make sure that you reach the crown of the head up and the tailbone reaches down. Taking another deep breath in here. That's it. One more. Creating a lot of oppositional force between the elbows and the knees. Great. Now from here, release your hands back down. I'm just gonna turn back to the front of the mat and then lift your hips up, coming into a forward fold here. You can reach for the outsides of your ankles, trying to go deeper in your fold. Maybe you wanna bend your knees, depending how your hamstrings feel right now, maybe moving a little bit side to side with your hips. Bring your hands back to the center of the mat. Walk the feet into hip width distance. Inhale, lift your head, your chest halfway. Find a nice long line from the crown of your head to the hips. Exhale, fold. And then bend your knees and step your left leg long back. Release the left knee down onto the floor. Untuck the toes. Immediately pick up that scissoring effect, pressing top of the left foot down. Right heel draws back, right hip draws back. Interlace your fingers on your right knee. 
relax your shoulders and create a nice strong foundation in your legs here. One more breath. Finding a nice stretch in the front of your left hip crease. Inhale, reaching both arms up. Hold your left wrist with your right hand and lean over to your right side, deepening that stretch in the front of your left hip crease and carrying it all into your side body. One deep breath here. Exhale out. Inhale, come back to center. Hands come back down to the mat. Take your left knee a little bit more back and then extend your right knee here, coming into your runner stretch. Pull your right hip crease back, push the ball of the right foot forward, but keep flexing your feet. Taking a few breaths here, finding that nice stretch in the back of your right leg. Keep your right kneecap engaged. So the muscles in the front of your leg are active as the muscles in the back stretch. Taking one more breath here. And then again, take both hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk your right foot to the edge of the mat and step your left leg up again into your yogi squat. Sink nice and deep. Apply pressure from your elbows out, your knees inward. Make sure your toes are in line with your knees. Now here, place your right fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm all the way up. That's it. Exhale, changing hands. Left hand comes down. Inhale, reach your right arm all the way up. And exhale, bringing both hands down. Again, now really engaging all the muscles in your legs. Reach both hands up if you can. Take a deep breath in here. One more. Find length from the tailbone to the crown of your head. And exhale, hands come down. Place your feet in line with the outside edges of your mat. Come into your wide forward fold. Inhale, lift to a nice flat back position. And exhale, bring your hands down, walk your feet back to hip width distance. Step them back and come back onto all fours. Now we're going for our last exercise. Bring the elbows down. Hold the outside edges of your elbows with your hands and then go ahead. Keep the elbows where they are as if they were glued down with one second glue or like a super glue. Bring your palms down to the mat and then walk your toes back so that you can come into a forearm dolphin plank here. Now important here you want to press your elbows forward and away from you, drawing the shoulders back at the same time, and then pushing your toes into the mat as you round your shoulders slightly, draw the navel to the spine, and breathe, holding your dolphin plank. Now walk your feet closer up towards your hands, towards your head, keep your head hovering, and push your chest back. If this is too much in the hamstrings, you can always bend your knees here. Important is you push your chest back and press down your palms away from you towards the front. Now rise, your, rise up onto your toes, lift the heels, and inhale, reach the right leg up. Slowly lower it down. Switching legs, inhale, lift the left leg up only to hip height. Exhale, lower it down. One more on each side, push your chest back once more. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, down. Walk your feet back again. Dolphin flat pose. Last asana here, so stick with me, come back into your dolphin pose, press your hands forward, 
Draw the shoulders up towards the ceiling, rounding a little bit. Leg is loose. Navel draws to the spine. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bend your knees. Come back to child's pose with the knees together. Forehead face down to the mat. You can reach your hands back. Completely relax your shoulders here. Get really heavy. And catch your breath. Thank you so much for practicing with me. This sequence should really get your whole body moving, a little kickstart to your system, and have you ready for any activity that you want to carry on with after this video, or maybe just leaving it as a little warm up for your body. Namaste, thank you so much for joining. Until next time.